Hey everyone, welcome to Free Handly Made AU My Autistic Life. This is my channel. My name is Nisi. Welcome to my little world up here in Montana. Big Sky Montana. Well, I've got a gift to open for my friend Teresa from church, which I actually opened it up in church in front of her and I was so excited. And I gave her a big hug and y'all know I'm not a touchy touchy person and I don't normally do hugs, but I did today. I gave her a big hug because you guys didn't get to see this in a minute. I got several i got two packages one from furls one from hobby lobby and i'll talk about that in a minute and i got a huge yarn haul from joann's so stay tuned and we'll get started let's start with this because i'm probably gonna i'm gonna want to wear this during the video so she you know believe it or not crocheters love to get gifts from other crocheters we just do it's fun so she got me, she made me fingerless mittens. Look how pretty those are. Look at the stitch. I'm going to do it really close so you guys can see the stitch. Put them on. I'm totally wearing these to work tomorrow, y'all. Oh, they're so cute. Look how cute these I can wear these inside the classroom and still be able to write. Because, I'm going to take off my ring. Because the high school building gets really cold. Especially in the English room. I don't know what it is about the English room. But look, aren't those cute? Put my ring back on. I love them. I love them. I love them. And look at this hat. Look at that, you guys. Isn't that precious? All right, so let's see. How does that go? It goes to the side. So, like this. Got a little bot black pom pom on the top. It's it's a scrunch. It's a it's a beanie. Look at the flower in that doorbell. I'm wearing this for the rest of the video. I would wear my gloves for the rest of the video, but um, I'm inside and it's not cold. But I love them, love them, love them. And I'm totally wearing this to work tomorrow. I'm wearing my hat with my little my little pom pom, and I'm wearing my fingerless glove. I'm wearing these to work tomorrow. And I'll wear them to work every day, Teresa, for the rest of this winter. Yep. Love them. They are adorable. So that was for my friend Teresa at the church we go to. So I'm going to put these over here because they're going to go in my purse where I won't lose them. I love my hat. Oh, my gosh. It's so adorable. And this is tweed yarn, you guys. It's tweed. Did you guys notice that? That the yarn is tweed? It, I know it's. you can see it on the cuff a lot easier than here. But look. It's tweed. Okay. Now, let's see. I know you guys want to see what's in this box. It's furlicious. So, this is from my father-in-law for Christmas. I also have a new craft chair. It's a gaming chair that's black and purple, you guys. And um, But it's still in the box. And it's going to be going downstairs um, here very, very soon, you guys. Hopefully by next weekend. Um, I will be starting to film downstairs and not up here because hopefully I will have my craft room organized and I'll have my chair down there. Uh, the only reason why I don't do it down now is because the chair I have is just not comfortable. I can't, my back can't handle it. So that's why I've been doing everything up here. So now that chair is in here, I know my husband's like really excited um, that I'll be starting to do this stuff from, <laughs> I love it how they send you a little postcard. Let you know what they're up to. It's so nice. All right. I know he'll be excited for me to uh, be going downstairs to do all this stuff. Wow. Okay. What is this? Oh, I ordered it. I ordered so much, you guys. I got some free stuff. It was my Christmas money. I would never have bought this stuff just off our paychecks. The only reason why I got this is because it was for Christmas. So I got. Oh, let me see. I got this. Ooh, this is nice. It's leather. Mmm, it smells like leather, too. This is the crochet hook holder. And you open it up. It snaps open. And you pull this out. It's attached. Look how cool that is. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven spots to use for crochet hooks. And then you just roll it up. 
and then you put it back in here like so and then you shut it isn't that nice it's so nice can't believe I got that for free I also got this stuff for free how do you open the bag oh this way so I got this for free and it holds one hook it holds one hook which is great for when I'm traveling love it these will be traveling with me when I go home to Texas to visit then I also got this cool gadget it holds your darning needles so you just put your darning needle in there, which is great for when you travel. <laughs> so you don't lose your darning needle at the bottom of your bag. So I'm loving this. Definitely will be using that as well. And I also got this for free. No, I didn't get this for free. I actually bought this. It is a project bag and I absolutely love it. It's not big enough to put my blanket projects in it but it is big enough for me to use um, for my other projects like my hat not hate stuff all that jazz actually it folds out a lot actually I might be able to fit a blanket in here depending on the size of the blanket but I love it it says furls fiber arts it has a little balloon with a little clouds love it and it has this little button right here and this little loop and you just go like that and it keeps the bag shut so, um, and I believe this was on sale. So just so you guys know what I'm fixing to show you, all of this was purchased. This and the hooks I'm showing you was all purchased um, using um, our, our sweet Andrea's affiliate link from Ola the Crochet, the Crocheting Sailor. Sailor. All right, so. I love the purple and gold hooks so much that I bought a whole set. I will, I say whole set loosely because honestly, um, it wasn't the whole set because I didn't buy any of the hook sizes that I know I'm absolutely not going to use. I only bought the sizes that I'm going to use. So I already have the size six millimeter hook so I went ahead and I got my five millimeter hook look how beautiful that is I just love y'all know my favorite color is purple but my other favorite color is yellowish gold to a pale yellow so I like two shades of yellow I like gold and I also like a very pale yellow very soft yellow so when I saw these oh my gosh I'm like if I ever get Christmas money and they still have some I'm getting I'm getting as many all the sizes that I use and I'm a I'm a clover girl I am and I did try to do I did whip up one of my my hat not hate beanies using the six millimeter hook it was challenging for me at first because I'm not used to using a resin hook but I finally, I did, after a couple rows, I got used to it. Um, so I'm pretty sure I'll be practicing some more with these. And I'm pretty sure I'll be able to switch back and forth from each. And I'll know which yarns is best to use with my furls and which yarns that I know do not use your furls, use your, lose your clovers. Because I've had heard from several people that there are some yarns that don't work well with their resin furl hooks. I love my hat, y'all. I feel so pretty. I do and I'm not a gray girl I'm not but I love I love this hat all right this one is uh, 6.5 now I won't be using a 6.5 as often but I would like to try to start making some beanies and some other things with a chunkier yarn so I knew I would need one of these so I went ahead and picked one up and I got the 5.5 
they're all slightly different but look how beautiful like this one tends to have this one looks like it has a little more gold in the front and more purple in the back they're so gorgeous gorgeous i am so happy all these are going my purple furl set is going into or my purple and gold furl set is going into my my leather satchel here it's where i'm going to keep them so that they're they're protected um, and i still need to get something for my my uh breast cancer awareness the polaris pink hooks too this one is a seven and like i said just like see how the gold's in the back and the purple's in the front i just love how all these are a little bit different um, I know I'm going to start working with chunkier yarn, so that's why I went ahead and got me a 6.5 and a 7. And then this one is a 4.5 for when I work with um, DK yarn for like shawls or some what I call southern beanies because they don't get as cold, but yet they're to them it's cold enough to wear a beanie. So I can use this for my DK yarns. Um, I didn't go any smaller than this because the only time I use anything smaller than this is usually amigurumi. Um, of course, I didn't think about it that I am going to be starting to use a uh, finer yarn for shawls. Um, so I'm probably going to have to go back on the website and get a 3.5 and a 3. And of course, I won't be able to fit them all in here. So I'll have to fit seven of them in here and then one of them in here <laughs> is what I'll have to do. So that is my stuff from Furls. Look at my big cheesy grin, y'all. It's cheesy. Okay, so let's go into the next. Let's go into the yarn haul. So you guys, this. <laughs> it's, wait, one more bag. This is all Joanne yarn. <laughs> all right, and it's all big twist yarn, y'all. All big twist. So. For those of you that were in my live and I was really upset because I got gypped um, my 20% my 20% off discount. So um, I went into my email and it showed that I, that it was supposed to process it. But then when I get the notification that my order was ready to pick up, um, it didn't show the discount. And so finally I'm like, you know what? getting nowhere because my husband went there to talk to them and they were telling him that I had to call Joanne corporate and blah 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 the girl just didn't want to give me a refund but it's a good thing she didn't because I did look at my bank statement and because it went all through PayPal PayPal was showing that I got charged the full amount that's why I got upset but when I looked at my bank statement it was it was the two dollars less than it was supposed to so I did get my discount you guys so that was just all confusing so Note to self, um, I ordered this yarn before the sale ended um, using directly using my credit card or my debit card because I noticed that when I go through and I use my debit card, it actually shows everything through. It shows the actual price that you it got, that it processed for versus PayPal doesn't, which is weird. I don't know why PayPal did that. So PayPal. You need to get it together. Anyway, so this yarn is not Big Twist. I'm going to show this first. This yarn is the Caron One Pound. And it is on sale right now. At least I think it's still on sale right now. Was, the sale was still going as of yesterday, you guys. So if you haven't taken advantage of the sale, you need to get over there. Because if you go with this stuff online, if you order it online and you, you put it as a pickup order, there's a coupon in your coupon section. That says 20% off on pickup and or $2.99 shipping or something like that. Do the pickup and get your 20% off. Because I got this, this yarn for $6.99 each. Which is what they were last year when they had the yarn on this sale. Because I remember Sandrine saying that. So I'm like, you know what? I wonder if this 20% coupon will work. And then I'll get the sale price that, that Sandrine was talking about. And it worked. So I got this yarn for $6.99 each. Now I am doing something special with this yarn. This is off-white. It's a four weight. It recommends a five millimeter hook. 
It's 16 ounces, 453.6 grams. It's a total of 812 yards or 742 meters for those of you who use meters. I got three of these bad boys because when I used to live in Florida, there was a church that I used to go to and there was a woman that has known me since before Zayden was born. Her name is Mary. And her husband has PD and he has a couple, he has some other health issues and he deals with being cold all the time because of his PD. She reached out to me yesterday and was like, I hate it. So Mary um, got a hold of me and said she wants me to make an Afghan for her husband and asked me, okay, how much do you, how much are you going to charge? Well, this is someone that I've known for, I don't know how many years. Let's see, Zayden, little man's what? He's 10. So, and I knew her right before he was born. So basically 10 and some on months, I've known this woman. And she's always been very sweet to me and my family. And um, she's just such a, just a loving lady. And she does so much for so many other people. And so I basically just told her, I'm like, look, if you pay the yarn and pay the shipping, I'm just going to make this Afghan for you. It'd be my pleasure. And so uh, she's sending me money in the mail. And um, so, um, and I think what I'm going to do, I think the Afghan I'm going to make, I think I want to use, oh, that's a pretty, that's a pretty design on the front blanket. Put a blanket on the label. That's pretty. Um, I think I was looking through my, my um, stitch dictionary. And I think I'm going to make the Afghan using the extended, uh, the extended double moss stitch, I think is what I want to do. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take one of my leftover yarn that I had from one of my projects that I'm done with, and I'm not going to use that yarn really for anything. And I'm going to do a swatch, um, a small swatch for in the extended half of the extended double moss stitch and see what it looks like and, and see if I like it. And if I like it, then that's the stitch I'm going to use uh, for the blanket. And while I'm making the blanket, I have to make it during like a quiet time because I'm gonna be praying over the blanket as I make it, and it is going to be a prayer afghan. I'm going to design my own prayer afghan for Mr. Tim. I think that's her husband's name. I wanna say his name is Tim. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, Mary, please forgive me. But anyway, it's for Mary's hubby. So she wanted an ivory color, and um, this yarn, I love this yarn. It's, you get a lot for your money. It's a big bang for your buck, and it's soft. It's not, when I get done making this, I'll be able to put it in a box and ship it directly to her because it's not the, it's not like Red Heart where you have to wash it once you're done to get the softness. It comes soft and it's just, it's a very nice yarn and it's a durable yarn. So it'll be easier for her to take care of. Anyway, so that's this. So $6.99 per skein. That's, that is a good deal because this yarn is usually $12.99, I think, or something like that. Or $11.99. I think it's $11.99 regular price. So $6.99 is a good steal. That's a $4 savings times three. I saved 12 bucks on that yarn. All right. The other thing I got was all this big twist. So I got, oh my gosh, y'all. Hang on. I got to get situated. I got to get situated. So you remember that skein of yarn that I made um, two beanies out of? One was a burst, burst of kindness beanie with my own body of the hat design that I did. It was um, the sledge stitch that that uh, Sunita did, but I she did it all in one direction, and I I went ahead and I did one direction, one row, and then I flipped the hat. And I did the other direction, the other row to get that fan look. Um, and then I also used the skein of yarn she sent me to make the uh, drawstring beanie by um, John John Boy Crochet. Anyway, um, I love the, the yarn she sent me. And I made both those hats using that yarn, and it was the Varsity Blue. So I bought three more skeins of this, Sunita, because I love this color girl. And Sunita, you may get me like in blue before, before it's over with. So I got three skeins of the blue. Of the varsity blue. Sorry, I got four skeins of this. I stand corrected. <laughs> I don't know what I bought. Four skeins of the cornflower blue. Very pretty. 
very, very pretty. And I got four skeins of this sky blue, which is also very pretty. Four skeins of this sapphire blue. So I got plenty of blue yarn for hat not hate this year. I am plus I have that one pound of blue downstairs that I bought, the Caron one pound of blue. So I'm set on blue yarn. But I also right, that's brighter than I expected. I got hot pink. That's fluorescent pink. That ain't hot pink. That is fluorescent pink. Holy cow, that hurts the eyeballs. But I got four skeins of the fluorescent pink. And I got two skeins of this um, medium rose. And these yarns are going to be used for breast cancer awareness beanies. For those of you that um, are big into breast cancer awareness, um, the month of October, um, I'm gonna be making beanies. And um, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with those yet. I'm still planning for that and breast cancer awareness isn't until October so you guys will hear more about that but I, I bought pink yarn specifically for breast cancer awareness and I'm making a mess you guys and then I got oh my gosh it fell out of the ball band the ball band came loose don't you just love it I got one get off my sweater my dog's behind me if you're wondering who I'm talking to. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So I got six light sage. This is my daughter, my youngest daughter's favorite color. She loves light sage. And the big twist yarn are they're all four weight. This is the big twist value. They're all four weight and they all, they recommend using a five millimeter hook and they all come with, I'm going to have to tape that because I'm nowhere near ready to use this yarn. <laughs> it says uh, for a 50 by 60 inch blanket, you only need four skeins. Well, I bought six because it de really depends on the stitch you use as far as how many true skeins it's going to take. Um, but it's 380 yards per skein. I bought six yards because I want to make sure I have enough for the blanket that I'm going to make her. I'm not sure what kind of blanket I'm making for her. Obviously, it's going to be a more fem feminine, girly kind of stitch. And I'm making this for her apartment. So she'll be getting an afghan from me. And I need to make my oldest daughter an afghan as well. Um, but I didn't buy any colors for my daughter because I don't have any clue what color my daughter would even like, to be honest. And I've been asking her and she still has not yet told me. So <laughs> I won't be planning my blanket until my oldest daughter can make up her mind what color she wants. Um, and I did, I'm doing it in a solid color just because... It will make it easier for her to use. She can just throw it on the back of her couch. And she loves sage. So anyway. So that's that yarn. I'm going to pick up this mess later. This is my. This is my. Um, oh. How much did I get that yarn for? It was $2.50 plus with my 20% discount coupon that I was able to use. This, these skeins of yarn for $2 per skein. That's a great deal. And I took advantage of that. So I got me a lot of yarn. All right, let's see. I'm just going to cut this bad boy open. This yarn is all for my husband's afghan. I am making my husband a log cabin afghan. It's a pattern by Yarn Inspirations. And I'll share more about that once I start the project. I'll share where I got the pattern, the link to the pattern. Obviously, I'll share the link to Mikey's channel, The Crochet Crowd, because he actually has, he's done a tor tutorial for this particular pattern that I'm going to be doing. But these are the colors that I got. I'm going to try and hold them all together so you guys can see what this blanket is going to look like. It's the blanket is going to have 
seven different colors. Yeah, I got it. Wait, what color is this? It's like taupe. What color is this? Oh, latte. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. I'm missing two more colors. Oh my goodness, you guys. That's coffee. What color is this? Brown. Okay. Some of these colors are very close to looking a lot like the same. Is this my other color? That's dark olive. What color is this? Dark olive. Okay, so I already have that one. I'm missing another one. Where is it at? There should be one more in here. There should be one more color in here. I think this is it. Is this it? Uh, I think this is it. Forest. It is. Okay. I don't know how I'm going to do this. All right. I'm not going to be able to do this. What I'll do is I'll take a picture of all these together neatly, and then you'll be able to see. My husband loves mossy oak. Oh, I almost had it. Hold on. Oh, there we go. There. Hey, look, I did it. See the bright color down below? All right. So my husband loves mossy oak. Loves, loves, loves mossy oak. I feel like, hang on. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, yeah, that's seven. Um, and so what I did was, that looked really bright green, but it's really not that bright, you guys. It's really like almost a soft sage color. That's really weird to me how that shows so bright on your screen. Anyway, he loves mossy oak. So what I did was, I went online and I pulled up mossy oak images. And I zoomed in on that pattern. And I was very careful with the yarn I chose so that his log cabin blanket will have a very mossy oak, foresty, kind of look to it so I have one two three four different shades of brown and three different shades of green that I'm using for this blanket so I got this yarn on sale for only 30% off now that's not a big sale but honestly um, I don't get the benefit of the sales that you guys get when you are able to go into the store because my store is three hours away from me all the way in Kalispell Montana um, and so, and we are getting a Hobby Lobby in Missoula, but here's the problem. That's not due to open until 2024. So not this year, but next year. It's torture. They're torturing us. I'm determined to believe that they're just doing this to torture us. It takes forever to get them to build anything in Missoula. I don't know what that's about. Anyway, so I'm not waiting to 2024 uh, to start my husband blanket. This is... Um, my last video, I said it was his Christmas gift. I am so sorry. I misspoke. This is my husband's birthday gift. This Afghan is going to be my husband's birthday gift. And it's going, I, I'm, I'm so excited. Now that I've got the yarn in my hands, I am so excited for this blanket because I love, I love this yarn. It's just, it's, it's so soft and it, and it makes such great blankets, Afghans. And, um, the pattern that I'm going to use is this is going to look beautiful. Now, I only got the one skein of this because this yarn is going to be this little tiny center of every square. So I literally only needed, according to the pattern, I only needed one skein of this. Um, now, this yarn, like I said, is I love this yarn. It's just a solid 100% um, acrylic. It's seven ounces, 199 grams. That equals to 355 yards. 325 meters. Now, I believe the pattern said the skeins needed to be 350 yards. So I'm getting it five extra yards. So I should have plenty of yarn. All the other colors are two colors each. Um, so I'm very excited about it. And I'm going to be starting on this this week. Um, and I'm, I'm going to be doing this and the other Afghan at the same time. So um, I'll pick to do 
certain days a week I'll do, I'll work on this blanket. And then the other days of the week, I'll work on the um, prayer Afghan. And then the other days of the week, I'm splitting up my seven days. The other days of the week, I've got to dedicate to making one hat not hate beanie a week and one cancer beanie, chemo, chemo beanie a week is what my goal is. Um, and I'll be doing that for a while. And my other whips over here, um, there's one day a week where I'm actually going to be working on my all in the family Afghan um, for a couple of hours. So it's going to take me a while. Um, and my daughter's uh, beach cover up, that's going to have to wait until I get this Afghan done and I get the prayer Afghan done. Once those two Afghans are done, then I'll pick up my daughter's beach cover up dress back up and I'll finish it. So that's what I got going on right now, which means, oh, and let's not forget, I'm still doing that heirloom Afghan, which I am happy to say I got th four squares done, four more squares done, and I got to do, I'm doing square 34 and 35 today. So once those squares are done and I'm caught up, so I have to do one square a week as well, although that only takes me like an hour or two to do. So I'm not really stressed out about that because that's not going to take up too much of my time. So I'm still working on that, you guys. It's a lot. So yeah, I won't be joining any other crochet alongs besides All in the Family because as you can tell, I am like swamped. Um, and there's no way I can do any commission work. Um, I'm just too busy. And as it is, it looks like I'm going to be busy for a couple of months. So there you have it. That is it, you guys. <laughs> I think that's as if that wasn't enough. I hope you guys enjoyed my yarn haul and um, that you enjoyed my happy mail on top of that. Oh, I forgot. It's okay. I'll do that in a separate video. I actually got a letter from a viewer. Generational Homestead sent me a sweet letter saying that they loved watching. They loved watching all of our crochet videos, you guys, Yarny family, and they loved our community and they think our community is very sweet and nice. And they sent me a little sticker and, um, they requested that I send them a sticker. And this time they sent me a Christmas card, but didn't have an address on it. This time they sent an envelope with their address on it. So now I have an address and yes, I will be sending you a sticker. <laughs> You'll get one of my stickers just so you know. So I got it. So thank you. Anyway, that is all I have for you guys. And I'm sorry I did not go live last uh, yesterday on Saturday, but I really needed the break. I had to get all the Christmas decorations down and I had to pull out my Valentine decorations and I was just too swamped. I was too swamped to do a live yesterday. So thank you guys for being patient with me and allowing me to get that much needed rest and getting that work done that was needed to get done. So this video kind of um, replaces the live, but I am going live next Saturday like normal, same time, same day. I go live right before Carrie the Yarny Elephant. Carrie goes live 9 o'clock a.m. my time. I'm mountain time, y'all. So that's 10 a.m. Central. 11 a.m. Eastern is when she goes live. So I go live before her and then we usually do a yarny love raid over to her house. So I have to get better at making sure I end <laughs> before she starts or at least I end right when she starts so I don't miss anything because I don't like missing stuff when I go to her house because I love going to Carrie's house because she has froggy when I'm knitting up there with her usually. Sometimes she'll have somebody else up there like Coco or or sometimes Daniel or some yarn, maybe sometimes Maureen is up there with her. It's always somebody that 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 she has up there, usually co-hosting with her. And I don't like missing it. So, and she does go live every day, but I don't get to see her every day because I work. When I'm at work is when she's live. So the weekend's the only day I get to watch her live and get to actually chat and chat. And I watch the replays. But the replays aren't the same. I like chatting in the chat with my friends, with my yarny friends. So I don't like missing it when I get to watch her over the weekend. It's just how I feel. It's how I roll. But I do catch replays, you guys. Just know. I do catch replays. I listen to y'all when I'm when I'm working um, here in the house, when I'm crocheting and whatnot. Um, so anyway, 
that is it you guys that was a lot thank you for spending time with me i know this video was long and i do apologize for that but i hope you enjoyed it i had a lot of fun my face hurts from smiling so big between this hat and the fingerless gloves my fingerless gloves that i got this morning and my furl hooks and my bag i'm just it feels like christmas again <laughs> and i just had to share it. i'm so excited so excited we will see you guys again very very soon i will see you around the youtube streets you guys until then always remember dare to be you and dare to be different love from montana bye everyone